This is a Mac Mini and this is a MacBook Air. For my use cases, I use both of these devices very differently, but it hasn't always been like that. And if you're stuck between buying a Mac desktop and a MacBook, don't worry because you're not alone. I'm gonna be breaking down the pros and cons of each option and hopefully help you figure out which is the right choice for you or whether you're like me and you need them both if you've got one or the other. Let's start with the basics. A Mac desktop like the Mac Pro, the iMac, the Mac Studio, or this one here, the Mac Mini, these are designed to stay put wherever you decide to have them. And that's what makes them perfect for dedicated workstations like I've got here. And then on the other hand, you've got the MacBook, whether it's a Pro or Air. And these are portable, lightweight, and are made generally for productivity on the go. Although these can still be brought back to a dedicated workstation to become like a desktop. But which one of these is better for you? reason performance. Desktop Macs typically have better cooling systems meaning that they can sustain higher performance for longer periods and obviously they don't rely on a battery which is perfect for video editing, 3D rendering or software development. Although you can do pretty much all of those things on either of these machines particularly the way that these machines are built now. The next one is having a larger screen whether it's the gorgeous retina display on the iMac or a custom monitor for the Mac Studio or the Mac Mini. Desktops are unbeatable for screen real estate because you sort of have to buy the one that you want if you've got a desktop whereas if you've got a laptop you generally have to stick with what you bought I know that some people do like to have another monitor used if either clamshell mode or as an additional monitor but generally they're going to be sticking with what they've got whereas with this you can get whatever monitor size that you want upgradeability now while you can't upgrade the internals of most Mac desktops and laptops because you're stuck with whatever you choose when you first buy these Unless you get a Mac Pro where there is a little flexibility to add via the PCI expansion slots. But generally when we refer to upgradability on these Mac desktops, we're referring to monitors and other accessories like keyboards and mouses, which users with MacBooks are less likely to have when they're using their laptop in the traditional sense. The most obvious reason is that these generally aren't portable. If you work in multiple locations or travel often, this could be a deal breaker. I mean, the new Mac Mini, it's so small, you could probably just pop it in a bag. And I have seen Pelican cases that you can get for like the iMac where you can travel with it, but it's not as travel effective as just traveling with a laptop like this. And obviously that initial cost isn't just the what you need, you need more than just this. So if you're factoring all that other stuff, like all the accessories that you're gonna need, it's gonna mean a higher initial cost. Whereas this, if you buy this, you're getting all that all in one and that's everything you need to just go. And then one of the main reasons as to why I got this MacBook Air after just having initially this, is that with this, I'm just tied to this one space here. Now with this, my flexibility is unlimited. Now let's talk about the MacBook. Portability, it's slim, lightweight, and perfect for working from anywhere. Coffee shops, any desk, or even your couch. I bet you can't, you can't even do that with this. And it's undeniable, this all-in-one design. You don't need to buy a monitor, a keyboard, or mouse. It's all built into the laptop. But obviously those options are available to you if you do transition into a workstation setup, but it's all optional. In the past, we'd always talk about the battery life being terrible on any laptop, and that's why it was always better to get a desktop. But modern MacBooks have an impressive battery life, especially the M4 models. The 14-inch M4 and the 16-inch M4 Pro MacBook Pros are both rated for 24 hours video streaming battery life. And because of the efficiency of Apple Silicon MacBooks, they're gonna give you that same power and efficiency, whether they're plugged in or on battery. main reason for that many people decide against laptops is a smaller screen size. Even with this pretty big 15 inch MacBook Air, it's no match for a larger desktop display like this one here, which is 27 inches. And sometimes there are performance limitations. Now, while these MacBooks are powerful, 
any laptop can overheat and throttle performance under heavy workloads. It's not often, but they can do. I've been editing on this and it's got so warm that I've had to take a break and let it cool down. And obviously that's because this MacBook Air doesn't have the fans, so sometimes you've just got to wait. Frustrating thing to many users of laptops like these is that they have fewer ports. This has fewer ports than this, and sometimes that will mean you have to invest in dongles or hubs for connecting peripherals or having accessories hanging off your laptop, which isn't always going to be convenient or trend. Now here's an interesting thought. Why do some people like me buy them both? Many professionals, not saying I'm professional, the answer is simple. They need the best of both worlds. A desktop provides a powerful, stable workstation for heavy tasks, while a MacBook is perfect for remote work and portability. For me, generally, this Mac Mini is always stationed on this desk, while the MacBook Air is used for everything else, and sometimes on this desk as well. I purchased the 256 gigabyte storage MacBook Air, and I have a four terabyte external drive connected to this, so I can always connect to the MacBook Air and access those files instead of them taking space on here. Another thing that we we'll always talk about is that seamless Apple ecosystem. With tools like iCloud and AirDrop, switching between devices is effortless. Still not sure, here's how to decide. And these are questions to ask yourself. Where do you work most often? If you're always on the go, choose a MacBook, but if you're home or office-based, why don't you consider a desktop? What kind of work do you do? Creative professionals or developers might sometimes benefit from a desktop. If you value portability, if so, go for the MacBook, or both if your budget allows. Remember, the most value for money Mac that you can get at the moment is the M4 Mac Mini, a great upgrade or an even greater introduction to the Mac. With the introduction of Apple Silicon up to the most recent iteration on the M4 series of SOCs, Apple has revolutionized how we think about performance on both desktops and laptops. And here's the big takeaway. For devices with the same Apple Silicon chipset, the performance is often identical, whether that's a desktop or a MacBook. Before Apple Silicon, MacBooks, although powerful, would often lag behind desktops in raw power due to thermal limitations, but the Apple's M series chips are so efficient now that even slim MacBooks can deliver desktop class performance. Previously, the Mac Pro was that pinnacle Apple device that demonstrated raw power as well as upgradability. Now you can get Apple devices at the fraction of a cost of a Mac Pro that deliver equal, and in some cases, better performance. So if you're someone that needs portability, power and flexibility, Apple Silicon makes MacBooks an incredibly compelling choice. But for most users, unless you're maxing out workloads 24 seven, the performance difference between laptops and desktops with the same Apple Silicon chip is minimal. With Apple Silicon truly leveling the playing field between desktops and laptops, the decision between whether you go for a desktop or a MacBook now comes down to your own specific needs. Choose a Mac desktop if you're not bothered about flexibility and want a dedicated workstation with more expandability and better thermal performance for heavy sustained workloads, but then choose a MacBook if portability is your priority and you want power on the go. Thanks to Apple Silicon, you're not gonna have to sacrifice performance anymore, no matter which choice you go for. So whether it's a sleek MacBook or the amazing value for money base M4 Mac Mini, the Apple Silicon era has made the choice easier and I suppose harder at the same time. Are you team desktop or team laptop? Or do you have both? Just let me know in the comments below. If you wanna see why I chose to stick with this M1 Mac Mini instead of upgrading to the new M4 Mac Mini, check out this video. And if you enjoyed this video, press that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.